A simple tap can go a long way. Radio frequency identification, or RFID, is a wireless communication method that uses electromagnetic frequencies to identify and track animals, objects, and people. You might know this better as tapping your credit card or using an electronic passport, but it has many other applications. Here, we'll explain how RFID is used. For a deeper dive on all things IoT, visit our dedicated site in the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. RFID was born from the radar technology used in World War II to identify hostile and friendly aircraft. Development continued in the years following, with the first official patents being awarded in the 1970s. At the time, RFID devices were mainly used for tasks like toll collecting and keycard scanning. An RFID system is made up of three components, an antenna, transceiver, and transponder, which is embedded in an RFID tag. Together, the antenna and transceiver make up what's known as the RFID reader. This reader uses radio waves to transmit signals that activate the tag. From here, the tag returns a wave to the antenna where it's translated into data. RFID is often described as a wireless barcode system, but there are notable differences between RFID and barcodes. For one, barcodes require a direct line of sight for scanning, while RFID tags do not. And barcodes need close proximity for scanning, while RFID can scan from inches or feet away. And unlike barcodes, RFID tags can update data in real time. Near Field Communications, or NFC, is a notable subset of RFID. It enables the exchange of data within a short range of roughly 20 centimeters. Because of this, NFC is usually reserved for tasks like opening doors or linking smartphones to Bluetooth devices. Today, RFID systems are most commonly used for equipment tracking, inventory management, supply chain logistics, and access control, and are prevalent in industries such as healthcare, manufacturing, retail, business, and even home use. While some have raised security concerns around potential skimming or unauthorized tracking of RFID tags, these incidents are rare. As an extra precaution, RFID tags and passports are equipped with basic access controls and anti-skimming material to prevent any illicit scanning. Overall, RFID systems can cut costs, improve customer experience, bolster supply chain efficiency, and more. Over time, we can expect wider adoption of RFID as systems are increasingly being used to support Internet of Things deployments. Do you use RFID? Share your experience in the comments and remember to like and subscribe too.